What is up guys, this is Ryan Tide Productions and this is episode 2 of my new Supernatural Law series. And today I'm going to do a video for B and it was at Benny or Bobby. And it's got to be Bobby Singer. You get me, you idiot. Right, for C, it's going to be at Castiel or Crowley. So it's out those two for the next video, so vote. Well vote, well comment below which one you'd like to see. And anyway, this video is going to be on Bobby Singer, or Robert Singer. He was born 1950 and died tragically in 2012, in the supernatural universe, of course. Anyway, so, blah. the first thing is name origins. <coughs> the name is, well, the German meaning is famed, bright and shining for the word Bobby. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do some research on the word Robert. And it's the exact same meaning. And does this really apply to the character? Bright and shining, yeah. Famed. Well, I suppose he's famed in the supernatural community. Of course. Right, other people with the name in pop culture. Well, obviously, for those who don't know, the creator of Supernatural is called Robert Singer. Who, of course, named the character after himself. So we're going to delve a bit more into the character anyway. So I'm going to discuss... Favourite moments of his each season first. To get a bit more into the character. So before Supernatural, Bobby was the owner of the scrapyard place. Married to his wife Karen. And was introduced to the Supernatural universe. When his wife became possessed. <laughs> he was an inexperienced hunter back then so. His intervention caused her to tragically die. Sometime during or after he met the hunter called Rufus Hound, Rufus Hound, yeah. And who would love to see a spin off with them two, innit? That would be amazing. Spin off with Bobby and Rufus when they're younger. So, for the next section, is something not every supernatural fan would know. And it is that Bobby has appeared in every single season of Supernatural. There's only two other characters who've done that. I think you can guess who they're, man. The Winchester Brothers, of course. So, our favourite character moment in season one. Well, you don't really see season one season. You don't really see Bobby until the season one finale, when he helps the uh, boys exercise Meg. The character's characterisation between season one, two, and three is more like a advanced hunter who the boys get to for help. During season two, he helps out with the tricks there. And during the season 2 finale, him and Ellen help to close the Devil's Gate, which is, of course, opened by Azazel, who I covered in my last video. In season 3, we get a bit more of Bobby. He's a lot more in the season. He helps the uh, Winchesters against the Seven Deadly Sins. They were some awesome enemies. Seven Deadly Sins. What would mine be? Gluttony, probably. Gluttony. Love, love the food. <laughs> And also, in during season three, he helps Bella perfect the cult, but then she steals it off him. And he helps Dan to track Lilith. And during season four, he and Dean are the first people to meet Castiel, who now is a fan for Avery. And I'm slightly do want to do Castiel for the next video or Crowley. So let's see. So during season four, yeah. So during season four, it takes more of a backseat during the season. Helping out now and again. Season 5 Bobby is, well, at the beginning he gets possessed by a demon, does he? And says so some very, very hurtful things to Sam. See, Bobby is a good character, and this is when I felt we got more characterisation and more empathy for the character. When he overcome the demon possessing him and stabbed himself, which resulted in him losing the use of his legs, of course. And the episode, uh, Dead Men Darware played where his wife comes back, which was a good episode as well. So during season six, Weekend of Bobby's has got to be one of the best episodes. You actually get to see why he's an integral part of the supernatural universe and all the hard thing he does, which I think is a mask for which I think is a mask for him engrossing himself in his work so he doesn't have to think about his wife. So season seven See, I was going to do 8, 9 and 10, but Season 7 is the last and the greatest season for Bobby. I know you get the odd appearances in the rest of the seasons, but, you know, they speak for themselves. For newer viewers to Supernatural, they'll probably watch 8, 9 and 10. 
but for us oldies. Season 7 and the death of Bobby was one of the saddest moments in supernatural history and on one of my previous videos was number 1. The best moment in season 7 has got to be Bobby saying no to the Reaper and you understand a bit more about his relationship and how he sees the Winchester brothers as his own kids. He has been more of a dad to them than John Winchester of course. So, to this video's Hunter's Notes. He, Bobby Singer is a respected hunter in the supernatural community and the go-to guy for law and can be trusted in any case that you do. The best moment for him has got to be escaping the Reaper of course, got to be. And his last moment, best line, I think you know where it is, it's Idgits, it's got to be. And so for character rating, character rating out of 10, got to be an 8. Gotta be out. He's definitely in my top five supernatural characters, of course. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, leave a like, and of course, vote for next time, which will either be Castiel or Crowley. And anyway, see you later.